Boy, this is great stuff. This is a famous book, Mask and Flippers, The Story of Skin Diving uh, by Lloyd Bridges. Allie Pierce, Sea Hunt Remembered from Scuba 2000. Okay, I want to take a very small part of my collection and just show you a couple of things. First of all, an interesting item, which most uh, certainly most Sea Hunt collectors would know about, and the rest of you are going to find out about in just a moment. But then again, once again, as usual, I want to explain why, why my collection is special, why my wife calls me sick, and uh, why I enjoy this uh, sport and collecting so much. This is the book. This is the famous book. It's called Mask and Flippers. I don't know if you can see that there, uh, Kevin, very well. It came in, uh, in uh, two versions, this uh, soft cover version, and they also had a hard cover version, you see? Mask and Flippers. Different pictures on the front. It's kind of an interesting story. First of all, let's, let me deal with each one of these books. I have five of them. Why would I find different books? You know, that comes back to my collecting, my, my sickness, okay? This particular issue is the soft cover version, which is usually the one that's pretty beat up because it's soft cover. Uh, this particular one that I have is perfect. No writing, no names in it. I don't think it's ever been read, or very seldom anyway. I probably read more than anybody. And uh, this particular one it was, came out in 1960, and it was uh, uh, published by a, a, an organization called Associated Publishers in New York. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. What it really is is a uh, is a uh, a story about the history of skin and scuba diving. Okay, it talks a little bit about the different skills. You can see in the very beginning hand signals that scuba divers use. You know, uh, I'm dying. Stuff like that. <laughs> Let's go up, you know, pretty simple stuff. Anyway, the scuba divers are pretty simple, so they keep it simple. So there's a typical. Then as well in here, there are some black and white photographs in the middle of some of the various activities that scuba divers get involved in. This is an interesting one here. I recognize this. This is from Puget Sound. And Puget Sound was famous for octopus wrestling. That's right. <laughs> they have big octopuses there, or did have, and uh, many years ago in the 50s and 60s, once again, uh, they would divers, local divers would get together and they had, they had an octopus wrestling championship. And you got a team of your buddies together and you went out and you caught an octopus, you had to bring it in and weigh it and let it go. And who, by the end of the day, whoever wrestled the most octopuses won. And it just a just a reason to go diving, that's all it was. So anyway, this book was written by Lloyd Bridges. Now, let me be perfectly frank. Lloyd Bridges, the famous, famous star of Sea Hunt, played Mike Nelson, of course. There's a picture of him there, well-known picture, too. This is a very popular, very common uh, uh, promotional picture of Mike Nelson. Uh, Lloyd Bridges was a scuba diver. He learned uh, to scuba dive uh, uh, the day before the first underwater sea hunt was actually a film. Interesting story there, too. They gave him a tank that didn't have any air in it. But anyway, uh, we'll go into that some other time, perhaps. So he was a scuba diver. And he obviously, through the show, he became a, a more experienced scuba diver. And uh, his, most of his family scuba dived. We know that uh, Jeff scuba dived and, and, and uh, Bo did. And I think Dorothy, his wife, uh, many, many years scuba dived as well. They don't know for sure about Cindy. But they all scuba dived. They lived right there on the coast in California. So, of course, they would. Uh, however, he was, uh, he was not what we would call an experienced scuba diver. He was not what we would call an, an expert scuba diver. He was not an instructor. And so the idea of my bridges writing a book about the history and the techniques and the, and the sport of scuba diving, a little bit, why would someone who really is not, you know, well, the reason is very simple, because he was famous as Mike Nelson. Once again, it points out the fact that the TV show Sea Hunt was an incredible show, incredible popularity worldwide. Mike Nelson was was the guy. He, he, wow, Mike, Mike Nelson. And, and, of course, because Lloyd Bridges played Mike Nelson, that rubbed off on Lloyd Bridges. So Lloyd Bridges became the spokesman in many, many ways. A lot of marine environmental issues. And, uh, and when somebody suggested you should write a book about skin and scuba diving, Lloyd probably said, geez, I don't know what to write. And then he said, uh, however, I do have a very good friend, uh, uh, Bill Barada, Bill Barada was his name, uh, who actually taught Mike to uh, scuba dive largely. He had help. Um, and Bill Barada was a very experienced scuba diver, an instructor, and very, very experienced. So I think what happened was uh, maybe, the, maybe they probably offered Lloyd Bridges a lot of money. Write a book. Okay, so Lloyd went to his friend Bill and said, we've got to write a book, and I'll give you some of this money. And so they wrote this book. It's called Mask and Flippers, The Story of Skin Diving by Lloyd Bridges as told to Bill Barada. <laughs> so 
I'm just speculating here, but I think what happened was Lloyd sat down with Bill Barad and they started to write. And Lloyd said, why don't we talk about this? So Bill did and said, what about this story? So Bill put it in and they, between the two of them, they come up with this well-known piece of sea hunt memorabilia, the book called Mask and Flippers. Okay, I think that's the way it worked. 1960, this particular version, the soft cover version came out. Now shortly, it was very popular. Short, I mean, for a book that's extremely specialized, very popular. Uh, a little later, they came off the hardcover version. Again, there's an almost mint copy, almost a perfect copy of the hardcover version. And you can see that it's, it's exactly the same book. There's those same hand signals spread over more pages. And in the middle are those same black and white photographs, same ones. And there, there's the octopus. So it's the very same book, hardcover, published by a different company. This was published by Chilton in, uh, in New York City as well. So there we have it. There's mask and flippers. And you can understand why as a collector, as an avid collector of anything related to Sea Hunt, I would have both of these, and I do. What's with the other three? Oh, okay, well, <clears throat> this is the very same one. This is a hardcover book as well, the same one, isn't it? Exactly the same one. It is, in fact, exactly the same, except it's the second printing. Yes, first printing, about 1960, and then a little later, about a year and a half later, they had to have a second printing. It was very popular. So this one has a second printing. How do I know? Well, because it says so. If you go to the front is frontis, what's called the frontis page, of any book, it'll tell you when it was copyrighted, first edition. That's what it says. Copyright, 1960, first edition. Okay? What's different? Well, now if you go to this one, it says, same page, it says, copyright 1960. The copyright doesn't change. The book doesn't change, so they don't change the copyright. Okay? Second printing. So you know this is, first, this is second printing. Really, I don't need them both, but because they're very slightly different, there's that one little difference, I decide to have them both. Okay, that's why I have those three. What about the other two? Oh, okay, all right. Look at this. Mask and Flippers. The story of skin diving. Lay Bridges. As told to Bill Barada. Hold on a minute, that's different. It is different. Look at that. <laughs> they switched the picture around. Well, son of a gun. Why did they do that, I wonder? Oh, this is a different cover on the back as well. It is different. As a matter of fact, I was very fortunate to find this one. It's entirely different. Why is it so different? You can tell it's the same book, it's the same story, all the same information in there. There's the hand signals, the same photographs. Uh -huh. Let's look at the frontispiece and see what this one says. <clears throat> Printed in London. London, England. This is the British, English, UK version of the famous story of skin diving. Told by uh, Light Bridges. Same ones. Okay? So that's why I have four of them. They're all different. Kind of special. Oh, well, what about the fifth one? What's with this? Now, I don't know if your Spanish is any good. But if your Spanish is good, and if you loosely translate, this book says, The Story of Skin and Scuba Diving by Lloyd Bridges as told by to Bill Barada. It doesn't actually say all of that. You have to dig in for that, but this is the same book. This is the Spanish version, printed in Mexico, Mexico or Argentina, one of the two, I can't remember which now, but it's printed in Mexico or Argentina, printed in uh, hmm, South America. And Brazil, how about that? All Spanish, same book, look. First couple of pages, guess what they have? Yep, there's your hand signals. Same photographs in the middle. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. I didn't check this out thoroughly, but it's the very same book. This is the same book. Story of Skin and Scuba Diving. So that's why I have five of these. And there they are, all five of them. And that's why, if I may be a little bit, uh, <clears throat> a little bit smug, <laughs> if you'll forgive me, that's why my uh, Sea Hunt memorabilia collection is the largest in the world. Okay, Mask, uh, Mask and Flippers by Lloyd Bridges. Five different books. Anyway, there you go. Mask and Flippers, not too hard to find, not overly rare. Maybe the Spanish one would be hard to find. I'm pretty sure the UK would be hard to find, but the other ones are not too difficult. Most people have them. I hope you enjoyed that little story about some books about Sea Hunt. Maybe it makes you appreciate Sea Hunt a bit more, and maybe it gets your, your juices going and say, gosh, I'd like to do that too, and collect some of those books and have some fun reading them, just like Alec Pierce. Sea Hunt forever. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.